Welcome, it's Jamie Hartley here from Crossfader. Today's video is perfect for any record box DJ users. I'm going to show you how to use the sampler and sequence call performance features built into the record box DJ software. Now it doesn't matter if you own a controller like the DDJ RB or the DDJ RR or anything above this controller. As long as you're using the record box DJ software, you'll be able to make use of this video and this tutorial. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video too, because after you've learned how to use the sampler and sequence call, I've got some more videos that you can check out totally for free that show you how to start using these features creatively in your DJ sets. Let's get stuck in and have a look at the sampler and sequence call within Rekordbox DJ. Inside Rekordbox DJ, you can find the sampler along the top. You may already have some samples inside your record box. To check, navigate to the sampler browse section. If you haven't downloaded them already, go to file and import to download the sampler pack from Rekordbox. You will then have to import it after you download it. I already have some samples loaded. You can simply drag and drop the files you want into each sampler slot. You can also change the color of the sample slot by right clicking. Plus there's an overall sampler gain level inside the software for those using the DDJ RB or on the controller for any other Rekordbox controllers. The samples can be played using the sampler mode on your controller. These are one shot drum sounds. You can also play loops in the sampler. I have an example on the opposite side. To choose between a one shot clip or a loop, go to the sample in record box and click edit. If I change this icon, the sample will now stop when it reaches the end. This other arrow indicates gate playback. This means you have to hold down the sample pad to play the sample. When you release it, it stops playing. Each sample has its own gain control for the levels. Let's just set it back to a loop. There are also master tempo and sync options. Master tempo locks the key of the sample and sync will keep it in time with the master deck. If a sample is looping, you can stop it by pressing shift and the sample pad on your controller. Lastly, there are four different sample banks available. You can use the mouse to click through them here or alternatively, you can use your controller's parameter buttons when in sampler mode. I have some other samples loaded into this bank for an example you'll find out about later in the video. The most basic way to use a sampler would be when we set off a track to layer in and add extra drums and just play along with the track itself. I could even set off the loop underneath the track and use the sampler volume to bring it in and out. Now let's look at how the sequencer works in Record Box. The sequencer is used to program a pattern of samples in a continuous loop. On the DDJ RR and above, the sequencer options can be found here, and the sequence call mode can be accessed by pressing shift and the sampler pad. It's also worth noting that the sequencer has a quantize option also. This can be found in Record Box's settings under the controller tab and inside the others tab. You can choose to enable or disable it as well as set different quantized beat values. I'm going to leave it on a quarter beat. The sequencer quantize can also be turned on and off here too within the software. To use the sequencer, I'm going to set off a track so that I can play along with it. The record button on your controller or within the software activates the sequencer. When it's flashing, this means you're ready to record a sequence. I'm now going to create a basic four x four drum pattern. Kicks on every beat, snares on the second and fourth beat, hi-hats on every off beat. After programming each one, it continues to play them in that pattern. Let's take the track away so you can hear it a bit better. Now it's recorded, you can start and stop it using the play icon. This sequence is now programmed into the software. If you want to save this sequence to recall at any point, just hold shift and press the record button on your controller or the save button in the software. We can now reactivate that sequence at any point using the sequence call pad mode. Press shift and the pad again to stop the sequence. To set up another sequence, move to pattern number two by pressing the shift and play button, or you can do this within the software. 
For this sequence, let's choose two bars in length instead. recording all my drum hits I can save that as a second pattern and then jump back and forth between the two sequences. You could even start laying down ideas for your own beats by creating drums then adding in loops underneath all within record box. As you can tell, very powerful features. Now, would you like to learn how to actually use the sampler and sequence call creatively in your DJ sets and how to apply it when you're mixing? If so, then I've got three more videos for you to check out. In the first, I'll demonstrate how to layer the samples used in this video underneath a vocal loop on one track before mixing into the next. The second video demonstrates how to use the sequencer to rebuild and remix a track from scratch. And the third video is a 10 minute tutorial on how I did that last technique so you can break it down and do it with your own tracks, do it with your own samples and rebuild, remake, remix your own music. To access these videos, simply click the link in the card or the link in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff so we can keep making videos just like this one. I'll see you in another of our tutorial videos very soon.